It was a different kind of feeling at the end, the result of a rare, unexciting kissing your sister tie. It's weird. Because uh, I don't remember the last time I had a tie. Most of us can't unless we play hockey or soccer. Their ties are commonplace, not when you head out to play a football game. It was the Bengals going after their 12th straight victory at home, but it wasn't encouraging to start. Cam Newton carved up the defense, a three-yard touchdown to Kelvin Benjamin. Nothing to get too excited about, unless you're this guy. For his sake, the Bengals answered impressively. On their first possession, Dalton swung the ball to Brandon Tate. Mohamed Sanu was out wide to fend off a tackler. Tate ties the game at seven. The next time the Bengals got the ball, they went further in a shorter period of time. Gio Bernard busted off the left side, broke a tackle, shot into the clear, and then outran the fastest guys on the Panthers. 89 yards, the second longest touchdown run in Bengals history. Bengals led 17-10 at the half. There's so many different things that happen in this game. Andy Dalton is right. Take the first series of the third quarter from the 26. Dalton was pressured. His arm was hit, and his pass floated directly into the arms of Carolina's Antoine Kaysen. He can run a little bit, and he did for the next 80 yards. All the way to the Bengals' 10, they then scored on a short run. Go, said one Carolina fan, and they did. Drive stayed alive, and Cam Newton was the closer. He runs 12 yards, and the Panthers led by a touchdown. Then the Bengals fought back. Dalton threw three passes to Mohamed Sanu. The last one, a rainbow down the sidelines. He turned and gathered it in, tied at 24. But the Panthers had some fight in them as well. Newton to Olsen, his tight end. Somebody should have covered him, 13 yards. The Panthers are back up by a score. Not for long. On the kickoff that followed, Adam Jones was inserted to make the return. There's a certain lightning about this guy. There always has been. Up the middle, through the tacklers, into the open, 97 yards all the way down to the Panthers' three. And from there, Jeremy Hill ran up the middle, pleasing the crowd with a touchdown that tied the game, and then firing up the crowd as he revived a dance deader than the twist, the icky shuffle. They were celebrating like it was 1988. But the team's match field goals to produce overtime. Then Mike Nugent kicked the Bengals in front, this a 42-yarder, Graham Gano matched it, a 36-yarder. It was tied to 37. The Bengals had the ball. And when we went, took that last drive with like two minutes, um, you know, it felt like we were going to go down there. We were going to put ourselves in position and uh, you know have a chance to win it. It looked like a new hero was in the making. James Wright caught his first NFL pass near the Panthers' 30. A penalty moved it even closer. The fans were tired and anxious. Let's kick it and get out of here. But you know the story by now. Mike Nugent did kick it, but he kicked it poorly, and he knew it right away. I, I didn't have to look up. I could have told you it didn't even hit the net. It was probably the worst hit I've ever, worst ball I've ever hit in a game in my career. There was no joy in Mudville, especially not at PBS. The Bengals and Panthers had played to a tie. You didn't lose, but you didn't win. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's strange.